Hi and welcome in this video. Today we talk about five mistakes every photographer did at least once in their life. Me included. And of course, how to avoid them. My name is Benjamin Jaworski, photographer and adventurer. Ten years ago, I started to teach myself photography. Today, I travel the world as a professional photographer and filmmaker. Learn from my experiences, mistakes and tips and join me on my photography adventures. Number uno! Maybe you know that you come with a tripod to a nice destination. Maybe you walked several minutes, hours, whatever, and you want to take your camera on the tripod. But then you see something is missing. It's at home. The worst possible moment in a landscape photography thing, almost the worst one, because we have some more mistakes. So what I can always recommend you is take that little plate for your camera and put it on your tripod. And that's what I tell all the people I work with as well, all cameramen, photographers and stuff, always take that little plate and put it either on the camera and leave it on the camera or put it on the tripod and leave it on the tripod but nowhere else because you can lose that little bastard very fast and it's expensive and of course a mess if you walk a lot and then forget that thing Number two, you walk to the spot and you climbed up a mountain and all this stuff and you are clever, you have your tripod plate and everything is fixed on the tripod, you have your composition and then you turn on your camera and you see something is missing memory card in the laptop at home that's a mistake i did at least two times in the laptop or in another pocket just so what i can recommend you is always take a second sd card maybe just put it somewhere where you can't miss it maybe in your bag or just somewhere in your car uh, where it's just accessible and don't leave it in your laptop. Number three, you have your SD card because you are a clever guy. You have your tripod plate mounted on your camera because you're such a clever guy and then you want to take the photo and then you take a photo and then you see why is everything so black? And then you see, I know why. And that's a classic thing about photography. Leave that thing on your lens. And actually it's not that bad because at least when you look in the camera or through the viewfinder, you see that it's just black and you can't see anything. But sometimes when you are at night, <laughs> and that's what happened to me actually, <laughs> you take a photo of stars or something and you wonder why is everything so dark and why is it so black? I'm on 30 seconds already. And then it's maybe just because that thing is on your lens. And the solution is very simple take it off tip number four you made a lot of mistakes already but the black cap mistake or black series is not a mistake anymore you have your SD card and all the stuff and now you take photos you take photos and photos and photos and photos and maybe you even photograph in cold conditions because you're a badass photographer and then you recognize okay battery is empty I just started to photograph and battery is empty. Why? It was on 20%. And then you grab in your pocket and then you see, oh, your second battery is on 20% as well. And now it's gone and you only have two batteries. What do you do now? My solution on that is when you're photographing cold weather conditions, always take the battery when you transport it and put it somewhere on your body where it's actually warm. And just by yourself, when you have a Sony camera, 15 batteries, <laughs> no, just kidding. But three batteries or two batteries at least um, should be a good starting point. And what I can uh, recommend you is you don't have to buy the original batteries. You can buy third party batteries. I, for example, have those red batteries and they are quite good and they only cost like 25 euros. So half the price of an original battery and they even have more capaci capacitivity. You know what I mean? <laughs> capacitivity? <laughs> so they have more like inside energy you know and the last mistake number five and you are clever now what else can happen you take your lens cap off you turn your camera on you have an sd card you have a battery you have a heaven's full sack full of batteries you have your plate there so take photos 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 and now let's go home and edit those nice raw photos You 
are at home, you take your SD card out of your camera into your laptop and you want to see the nice raw images that you can edit them perfectly and then you see, oh, photographed everything in JPEG, JPEG S. <coughs> to avoid that mistake, check everything in your camera and the JPEG RAW thing is a classic thing which happened to me uh, several times um, but as well with different settings like maybe a false white balance while you're filming, uh, wrong picture profile or something just wrong in the menu that you just tested out while sitting on toilet and then forgot to turn it back is a big mistake and you can avoid that. Those were five photography mistakes every photographer did at least once in their life, me included. And I want to know what of the mistakes did you do as well? Be honest, write it in the comments below and maybe I forgot something. Then just write it in the comments as well. Hit thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my nice videos coming out every week on a Friday. And quick commercial, if you want to learn more about landscape photography, all the essentials that I can teach you. Check out my course at learnfromben.com, only $30. And there's another full course about how to edit landscape photos with camera raw and with Lightroom and luminosity masks and all the good stuff. Learnfromben.com. And there's as well a newsletter you can subscribe to and then you get nice discounts and infos and all the stuff. Uh, check out learnfromben.com. All right, we see us in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it and bye bye.